All right, here we are back at my Ford F-250 Super Duty, the one with the Triton engine in it, V10, blew a spark plug. So one of the first things we have to do is check and see if we have the Romeo head or the Windsor head. It, uh, somewhere along the lines, Ford changed the design of the plug seats in the Triton heads. And so if you've got a, a Romeo head, you have to have a little bit of a different seat cutter. So the you know, we seem to know what we have so we know what tool to use or do we have the right tool to cut the seats properly. So what we got to do is on the side of the head is a casting mark and where I found it is right there behind the uh, dipstick on the driver's side. So I'm going to climb up here and see if I can get a shot down there on the side of the head and get a picture of it. Okay, we're going to reach down in there and see if I can get a shot from this angle. So the casting number will be right on the side of the head kind of leaned over that thing reaching down in here. Let's see if we can see it down here. I'll sort of scan along here and hopefully somewhere in this we'll pick it up and then we'll be able to read it from the video. So I'll just kind of move along here. I could see it. Just need to see if I can get a good clean image of it and show you where it is. So hopefully that's that captured it and then we'll uh, compare the number and see what type of head there is. Okay so we're trying to find the casting number on the side of the block. So I found that if I came up underneath the wheel well, the casting number is right back here. Let's see if I can get back up in there far enough to be able to see it. See those two lugs? It's right underneath those. Let's see if I can reach the camera from there. Get a shot of that. So maybe you can see it. I got a picture of it. But it's right back there. Let's see if I can get a couple different images and maybe one of them will be good. So let's see. So yeah, just reach back up in there. And uh, not on the side of the block, it's on the side of the head. I don't know what I was thinking or saying, but uh, yeah, we're looking for the casting number on the side of the head. So I can see it there. Hopefully you can too. And then I, I got some stills of it. So and then we'll take it in and take a look at it. Compare the number on this head to the casting number for the Romeo heads and we'll see if uh, I have something to do with it. The reason we want to know whether we have the Romeo heads, the heads with the casting 1L2 Echo versus the Windsor heads is because the seats have been cut differently in the spark plug wells and the cutting tools for tapping for the inserts won't seat properly down in the Romeo head. So here's a picture of the two. So we want to know what type of head we have, what the seat is, so we know what tool we need to use. Here's a still image of the side of the head. And then here's the same image blown up with the color inverted so that we can detect the letters and numbers a little bit better. And it looks like the stamping on the side of this head, the interesting part, is 1 Charlie 2 Echo 1 C 2 E. So this is not a Romeo head, so this shouldn't be a problem. I should be able to use these standard seat cutters. And here's a picture from a borescope straight down one of the spark plug wells into the head. So the coilover plug has been removed, the spark plug has been removed, and this is just a straight shot picture right down the spark plug well looking straight down into the cylinder. So you can see from this image that this head has the smooth slope transition on the spark plug seats in the original head. This head hasn't been cut or modified in any way from when I pulled the spark plug and the cop off. So it does not have the step of the Romeo head and that is consistent with the stamping number. And so it looks like there's not a problem with this head.